Hi, I'm Eloise from the Gourmet Cupcake Company in Chelmsford in Essex. I'm going to show you some handy how-tos on icing and decorating cupcakes. I'm going to show you how to make strawberry frosting. So the first thing we need is 250 grams of unsalted butter. Um, your butter really needs to be soft, so if you've just taken it out of the fridge, you'll have to wait a couple of hours um, until it's room temperature. Um, this is just so it's easier to mix and combine with the icing sugar in the mixer. So I'll put the butter in first. The next thing we need is 500 grams of icing sugar. So this is just normal plain icing sugar. Um, and I'm going to add this to the butter. So I've got a large freestanding mixer here, um, but if you don't have one of these, you can use um, any kind of hand whisk um, using the beater attachments on that. So just put your ingredients in um, a separate bowl, put your hand blender in with the beater attachments, and just mix it up like I'm going to now. Um, these are particularly useful because they have this on the top, so this icing sugar guard helps to keep the ingredients in the bowl. Um, so first of all, I'm going to turn the mixer on to a low speed and the reason we do this is just to make sure you don't blast all the icing sugar out of the bowl. So we want to mix it on a really low speed until it starts to combine in. Um, and after it starts to combine, then you can turn it up to a higher speed and beat it then for around about two to three minutes. Um, just watch it and make sure that it's going really light and fluffy. So I'm going to turn the mixer on now. So as you can see now, it's starting to combine. So this is the point where you can turn the mixer up to a higher speed. Um, and we're going to do that, as I said, for two to three minutes. So the next step is to add our strawberry to the frosting. Just going to take some out of the bowl and put it in this bowl. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add some seedless, smooth strawberry jam. So I'm going to add a tablespoon and just mix this around. Until it's all incorporated and you can see um, it's gone a sort of pinky colour. So you could also add some pink food colouring if you wanted a more vibrant pink colour to your strawberry buttercream. Another way of making strawberry buttercream is to actually add real strawberries chopped up into the mixer um, with your buttercream and just whiz that around for about 30 seconds. Um, so once you've made strawberry buttercream, I'm going to show you how to put it onto a cake. So this is a disposable piping bag um, and I've just put a piping nozzle in the end. So I'm going to turn this inside out over my hand. I'm going to spoon the icing inside. So just squeeze all the icing down. Twist the top to secure the icing in the bag and hold it like this. So I'm going to show you how to pipe it onto a cupcake. So if you hold the bag above the cake, pipe round in a circle, another circle slightly within and then just finish like that. Um, another nice way to finish off a cupcake like this is to grate over some white chocolate. And you can also finish it off with half a fresh strawberry. That. So that is how you make strawberry frosting.